We are live. Well, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Gittimer for the uninformed or for the informed. And today is going to be a great day for you to earn more money, period. And whatever you have heard in the past about CRM, and keep in mind, I was once a subscriber to ACT and then Goldmine and then a bunch of other things. And then ultimately the uh, the uh, 900 pound or a thousand pound gorilla uh, sales force, which we resigned from uh, proactively because it was eating money and eating time. And I was not a college graduate. I was a college dropout and I couldn't work it. I mean, I just, it was so cumbersome to me that it actually cost us money in terms of my inability to follow up or follow through in a manner that I thought was great. And we stumbled on pipe drive. And pipe drive, not only is it something that is valuable to us, it's something that I, as a technical, mediocre person, could actually program myself. And keep in mind, when we had Salesforce, we paid a programmer 7,500 bucks just to turn it on. Just to turn it on. Forget about how to use it and all the other crap that went with it. So I'm here to, uh, today um, with Spencer Smith, who is, I'm going to say he's a pipe drive aficionado, but more than that, he's been with the company. He's going to celebrate his third anniversary um, this month or next month. Um, he's a sales team leader, but more than that, he's a role model for how to take advantage of a CRM and have it put money in your pocket and how to actually make sales. He's got lots of experience. Um, he was a division one college basketball player, uh, director of basketball operations for the great Oklahoma university and then university of South Florida. Uh, prior to that, he worked in scouting for the University of Oklahoma. Show me the little Oklahoma thing, whatever they do. Well, no, that's the Texas thing. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, but uh, he, a graduate of the University of Oklahoma and now in transition to try to get from the SEC to wherever the hell they're going. I can promise you this. The transition from wherever you are in CRM to pipe drive will be a hell of a lot better and a hell of a lot more profitable. So I'm going to let Spencer take a lead today, but I'm going to throw my two cents in as we go. He's a brilliant guy, and I don't care what CRM you're using, he's going to show you how to turn it into money. And if you're smart enough, you'll switch to pipe drive. And it's so inexpensive, by the way. If you hate your CRM that your boss makes you use, you can actually switch to pipe drive on your own. You can invest in it on your own. It's... uh. Uh, just go to gittimer.com slash CRM and you'll you'll get all the info. Spencer, it's a pleasure to see you again. Thanks. Thanks, Jeffrey. I really, really appreciate you having me. It's uh it's it's always great to be on. Um it's you're, fun. You're a great advocate yeah. of pipe drive, which I love. Um and yeah, everybody joining today, uh, you're in the right place. If if your goal is to is to save money, save time, and we all know time is money, right? So save money, save time, save energy and effort, be more efficient close more deals, all of these things that everybody wants to do with their company every day and in their business and in their work, pipe drive can help you do it. Right. And that's why Jeffrey's such a big advocate of pipe drive because he's, he's been there and he's done that and he's done all these things. And he's, you know, he's lived this, this, you know, incredible business life and he's, he's gone through the pains of CRMs that so many people have had and they, oh, Salesforce is so complicated and expensive and it just, it costs a ton of money just to get it up and running or, Oh, HubSpot has all these bells and whistles that I'm paying for that I don't really know anything about. I'm not using and it's just too complicated, right? Pipedrive can solve so much of this for you. Pipedrive is easy. It's cost effective. It's really, really user friendly. We ranked number one in 2022 for ease of use out of all CRMs globally. Every CRM in the world, we rank number one in ease of use, according to The Motley Fool. Um, so it's a really, really uh, impactful system. It can just help you be better at your job and be more efficient, right? And a system that you actually enjoy using, right? I always say software is is either two things, it's either a help or a hassle, right? There's not a whole lot of middle ground there. You either really like using it and it really helps you or it's just a hassle and you're like, oh, I got to log into Salesforce and go put all that info in. You don't want to do that, right? Pipedrive is a huge help and we take a lot of pride in that. That's why so many people love using Pipedrive. We take a lot of pride in that number one uh, ease of use ranking. So 
Uh, he hit the nail on the head. So what I'll do today is I'll share my screen, kind of show you some uh, bits and pieces of pipe drive and show you how you can sell. Everything I'm going to show you will ultimately lead to, hey, I'm going to be more efficient at my job. I'm going to save more money or I'm going to make more money. I'm going to save more time. All the things that we want to do during the day, right? Uh, Jeffrey, of course, feel free to chime in uh, on anything, uh, on uh, anything and everything, because he's been there and done that. Um, and at the end of this hour, hopefully you'll be convinced and you'll just say, yeah, hold on. I got to get a hold of the system. So you can go to Jeffrey's website, um, sign up using his promo code. Uh, you get some nice little perks for signing up with his promo code, which is amazing. Um, and I think you guys will all be uh, pipe drive believers here at the end of this. So if that works, Jeffrey, I'll go ahead and share my screen and we can kind of dive in. Yes. While you're sharing, let me throw this at you. Many people, many salespeople look at CRM as something that their boss uses to monitor their activity. Drop that thought process because it is so down the wrong path, it's not even funny. Your job using CRM is to document details that lead to ideas and sales opportunities. And you cannot get those ideas, you cannot get those opportunities unless you have documented everything for every customer and your mind is clear to create ideas based on the detail. So um, Spencer's going to show you what you're supposed to do, and I'm going to challenge you, do it even if your ass falls off. Yeah, 100%. He hit the nail on the head with that. Absolutely. It's always, CRM's always been seen as this kind of babysitting tool of like, hey, you know, your boss wants to know what you're doing, so you have to put it in there, versus, hey, this is a tool that can actually help me be the best salesperson in my company, all right? Or take my team or take my company and and achieve results that we've never achieved before. That's what a CRM is supposed to do. It's not meant to be a babysitting tool that you just get monitored. It's meant to truly help you be better at your job. And that's what PipeDrive is meant to do. PipeDrive, our tagline for years and years was built by salespeople for salespeople, right? Kind of know what salespeople need and what they don't. Let's simplify it, make it super easy, super cost effective, and just make you better at what you do every day, right? Give you everything that you need under one roof, to be the best salesperson that you can be. And that's what this is. So everybody should be able to see my screen now, right? So what we're looking at right here, this is pipe drive. This is similar to your home screen, I would say in pipe drive. This is what we call the pipeline view. So everybody's heard of a sales pipeline and all that kind of stuff, which is great. This is a visual representation of that, of your pipeline. This is completely customizable. Everybody on the call today does things a little bit differently, right? You have a different sales process. You have a different way of handling your clients. You have different steps and stages along the way of your process. So it's really important that you be able to customize your own process and pipe drive. So he kind of hit the nail on the head earlier with the Salesforce thing. You got to pay somebody 7,500 bucks just to turn it on. And then you have to pay more just to customize it. And it takes a lot of development and all that kind of stuff. That's not the case with pipe drive. At pipe drive, you can just hit this little pencil button right up here at the top, right? Which I'm hovering my mouse over. If I click on that, it allows me to edit my pipeline. So I can rename all of my stages right? I can delete stages down here if I don't need this many, or I can scroll to the right and add some more. So whatever that sales process is for you, where you say, hey, when I very first talk to a customer to when they're signing on the dotted line, what does that process look like? That's what you establish here in your pipeline, okay? And also importantly, right up here at the top left, you can call your pipeline what you want. That's critical because you can have multiple pipelines. You might say to me, Spencer, you know, we have all sorts of different clients. We have different steps and stages for, you know, existing customers versus somebody who's brand new and all that. That's no problem. You can call your pipeline what you want right up here at the top left because you can have as many pipelines as you'd like, right? So you can see here in this demo account with some dummy data, I've got a sales pipeline. I've got an account management pipeline where I can see who I need to do a 30-day follow-up or a 60-day follow-up with, right? Uh, maybe I work in real estate on the side. And so I'm also tracking some real estate people in here. Like whatever it is that you need, you can have as many pipelines as you'd like, right? Now, I also want to share in each one of those pipelines, we have side steps so that I've already, I put the questions that I want to ask every customer so I don't fail to deal with one point of data or another. And I can document everything as the customer is saying it. Keep going. 100%. Yeah, absolutely. And you'll notice that on each of these pipelines, you'll notice that each one has a different set of these little white cards, right? So what are these? This is important because it's pipe drive terminology. This is what we call deals, right? So these, each one of these represents a different deal. Uh, Salesforce calls them opportunities or something. We call them deals. Now, there's a lot of ways for you to get your deals into pipe drive. You can import your data via a spreadsheet. You can connect to your website and have leads come in automatically through things like your website or marketing campaigns and all sorts of cool things. Or there's just the old school way of, you know, hey, if I'm selling to Jeffrey, I get Jeffrey on the phone. He's telling me that he's maybe interested or whatever. I want to put him into my CRM. I would come up here and click this add new deal button. Okay. 
Now, this is the second bit of customization that can happen within your account, which is really, really cool. He's talking about those questions and stuff that maybe he needs to ask. So what do I need to ask Jeffrey? You can completely customize your little add deal form here to have all of the fields that you want it to have, right? So again, each of you has a very different process and very different information that you need to gather. So when I click this add new deal button right up here at the top, this little form comes up, okay? So this is where I can put in, you know, the contact person, what company are they with? What's their phone number and email address? That's default. That's already going to be in your account. But then what are some of those other questions that you need to ask? If you're a real estate agent, you need to maybe ask what neighborhoods they're interested in and what their budget is. Maybe you need to track their credit score or whatever. So you create what we call custom fields in order to put those in. So you can see here, I have some fake custom fields in here. Some of them can be drop down options just like this. Some of them can be multiple choice like this, right? Uh, a lot of different options. Some of them can just be open text where you can just type in answers. So a lot of different options. So you can completely customize this. It takes about 10 seconds to create a new data field. And then you fill out all of that information. And what it does is it puts a little card then on your pipeline for you to begin working. All right. So that's a really, really important customization step. So within about five to 10 minutes, you can have completely customized your pipeline and all of your data fields to match all the data and information that you needed to have in here. All right. If you guys, just for one second, Spencer. Sure. If you guys had any understanding, because we've used HubSpot, um, we've we've used Salesforce to do something like that in one in either of those programs, you're spending days. You're trying to figure shit out. It gets deleted without you knowing it. You can't go to a certain space without some kind of authorization. It's ridiculous. This is something that anybody, and when I say anybody, I'm saying if I can do it, what that means is it can be done because I promise you I'm challenged. And this has taken away every challenge because it's intuitive. It's made by sales guys or sales people, I should say, gender oriented. Um, I, I think that it's important to understand where you are right now as a salesperson and what frustrates the hell out of you. And oftentimes what frustrates the hell of you is how to follow up or how to follow through. What questions do I ask when I start this conversation and where's it going to lead me? And how do I document these answers so I can create more ideas or so that I can make the sale? And that's what pipe drive does for us. 100%. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Could not have said it any better. And I'll actually show you guys really quickly how to add one of those. Cause, cause like getting the right information in your CRM is so important. And I need to make sure that I'm asking Jeffrey in this case, the right questions, right? So if I need to ask Jeffrey, maybe uh, anything. So I'll go in and I'll create a, well, again, what's called a custom field. I'll just show you how to do this really quickly. Okay. So I'll go into my company settings. I'll go into data fields. And I just want to add a quick custom field. I want to make it a deal field so that it shows up inside of my deals. And I'll just say, you know, um, about just is Jeffrey awesome, right? I need to find out. I need to ask him if he's awesome or not. Okay. And I just want to make it a single option field. It's either yes or no. Those are the two options. No, okay? it's either yes or yes. It's, it's no. Yes, <laughs> yes, no, yes, or yes. All right. How about that? And then, and then I can choose to make this field required if I want to. Okay. Which means that I can make it required. So as a salesperson, I have to fill in that information. Otherwise, I'm not able to move forward, right? Or if you are a sales manager, you can just make sure that your team is getting in the right information and all that. But it's as simple as that. Now I'll just hit save. That's it, guys. In Salesforce, what I just showed you, that would have taken two weeks and you would have had to hire a developer to do it, right? <laughs> by drive, it took me 10 seconds and I just refreshed my page. And now anytime you guys will see when I go to add a new deal and I'll scroll down to the bottom. There it is. Is Jeffrey awesome? Right with yes, um, no, yes or yes. I want to throw at you if you're in real estate. There's subtle emotional questions that you would ask, um, and they can go all the way from do they want a washing machine on the second floor so they can be close to their bedroom, or why did they leave their last house? Uh -huh. And these are things that I'm looking for the emotional connections in order to be able to move forward. That's what that's what documenting details all about. Go Spence. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. And so now let's let's show kind of where all of that documentation lives, right? For everything that you need to ask and everything that you need to know. So I'll click into any one of these deals. Again, each one of these cards represents a different deal. So I'll click into this one. I'm a Star Wars fan, right? I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I'll click into the Jedi deal. So this is what we call the detail view of the deal, okay? This is where the magic happens. This is where everything having to do with that deal is logged. Okay, excuse me. So right up here at the top, you'll see that we have a visual representation first of our pipeline, all right? So coming back kind of one step, 
you can see my pipeline here, qualified leads, meetings scheduled, all the way down to negotiate, right? When I click in here, that's represented, right? Uh, it's represented right in here, all the way down to the end, okay? Now on the left-hand side, over here on the deal, this is my information center, okay? So this is where all of my information goes. So this is where I can assign a dollar value to this deal, right? I can set an expected close date when, you know, hey, if I'm in real estate and they're telling me that they need to be out of their house right now by the end of July, so I need this deal to close by the end of July because we need to get them into that new house, right? So I'm putting that in there, okay? I've got my contact person. I'm working with Anakin Skywalker to try to find him uh, a, a new house. And then right over here, right underneath that is all of my data fields. So this is what we just talked about, right? All those custom fields that we talked about that you can customize. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that, boom, there it is. That is Jeffrey Awesome field that we just made together, right? With my dropdown options that I can fill in. All right, and I'll just say, yes, of course. Yes, of course, he's great. Um, so all of my data fields are right there on the left-hand side. So information about the deal itself. Right underneath that is information about the person. What do I need to know about Anakin Skywalker, right? That's his phone number. That's his email address. Okay, he's from Tatooine, right? He's a Jedi. Whatever it is that you want to know about Anakin, that's going to be in the next box, okay? And then if Anakin works for a company, if you guys are B2B, if you're, if you're selling to other companies and other businesses, what do you need to know about the business that Anakin works for? Do you need to know their address, how many employees they have, what their revenue is, who Anakin's boss is? Whatever the case is, that's going to be over here. So the left-hand side of the deal is completely your information center, and it's just there living for you to be able to access or update anytime that you want, right? And then the right-hand side of the deal is really the meat and potatoes. This is where the magic happens with these particular deals, because anything and everything that I do with Anakin is going to be logged right over here on the right-hand side. I kind of very loosely compare this to like a... Uh, We've all been on social media at one point or another, right? If somebody has a Facebook page or something, right? If you go to someone's profile on Facebook... It's a timeline, right? And the most recent postings are at the very top. And then the further down that you scroll, you're going all the way back in time to when that person was in high school and they have all the embarrassing pictures. That's what this is like. This is like a timeline style feed with everything that you need, okay? Um, so I'll take you to the functionality really quickly. If I'm talking to Anakin on the phone and he's telling me all the things that I want to know, I can be taking notes, right? So we've got like a little note feature, right? So Anakin, and we'll stick with the real estate. We'll stick with the real estate uh, comparison. Anakin needs a two bedroom. You know, that overlooks, you know, the ocean, right? Wants good schools, right? Uh, he was talking about that emotional factor, like what what really kind of drives them, right? They Maybe they got kids, he wants good schools, right? Um, wants safe sidewalks, you know, like whatever the case is, X, Y, Z. And then I hit save. And maybe there's even stuff like wants a cul-de-sac so that there's no traffic going by their house at number one. But let's go beyond that for just one second, Spencer. I yeah. want to find out if this guy has selected a mover yet, because I might be able to, as a as a value part of my relationship, to recommend a mover to this guy or to recommend the five restaurants or the best school district so that they have an understanding that I'm not just in this to sell a house. I'm there as a trusted advisor and a resource. Keep going. Yeah, 100%. You're finding out all that information. And by the way, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in a, in a minute, probably, but we, you have your contacts tab over here. So if Anakin mentions to you, oh, and I need a mover, oh, I need this or I need that, right? You can just go into your contacts tab, which is like your Rolodex, and you could say, oh, perfect. I've got, you know, I can just filter and just pull up all of my moving companies and I can put you in touch with somebody, right, that I know. So all of your contacts are going to live in. choose to pin it to the top. So I can hit that little button right there and it will pin it to the top of the deal where it's the first thing that I see every time. All right. Which is really nice. Now, the other thing that I can do in addition to notes, it's really important as a salesperson, as really anybody trying to establish a connection is to schedule a follow-up, right? So if I'm talking to Anakin, we have a great first call. He gives me all the information that he needs. I don't want to let him off the phone until I've scheduled that follow-up. So I can say, Anakin, this was incredible. Thanks so much for your time. You know, we're, we're going to find you the perfect house. Why don't we, do you want to circle back up maybe on Monday and I'll tell you, you know, kind of what I found and we can schedule some tours or whatever. And he's like, Monday would be great. So this is where I can schedule that follow-up, right? So I can say, hey, call with Anakin. All right. We have customizable activity types. So you can set what kind of a call this is. I'll just say, hey, this is just a typical meeting. And I can bump this out to Monday. All right. Now, this is the first chance that I have to show you that we fully sync with your work calendars, Outlook, Google, Office, all the main ones we sync with your work calendars, which is really important because when I bump this to Monday, 
what's actually going to happen is that my work calendar, my Google or Outlook calendar for Monday will actually appear right over here on the right-hand side. So I can actually see in real time when I'm available and when I'm not. And I can actually tell Anakin, hey, Anakin, I'm actually wide open on Monday. What time do you want to meet? And he's like, yeah, let's meet at 1 p.m. I'm like, perfect. Let's do it. 1 p.m. So you can actually see it getting added to my Outlook or Google calendar in real time, right? Maybe from 1 to 2, Anakin and I are going to meet. All right. Then I can tag Anakin on as a guest, which what that will do is send him a calendar invite so that he can add it to his calendar. Right. His, his email populates automatically. And then we also have video integrations with Zoom, Microsoft Teams and Google Meet. Right. So I think 90 plus percent of companies use one of those three meeting types in order to do all their meetings and everything like that. So Zoom, Teams and Google Meet, um, you can populate instantly populate a, a meeting link on any one of those. And then I can come down here and hit save and send invites. So now that goes on my calendar, Anakin's going to get a calendar invite, the Zoom invite's going to go out automatically, right? And everybody's going to be on the same page that, hey, at 1 p.m. on Monday, don't forget, you're hopping on that Zoom call with Anakin, all right? I can keep also- Keep in yeah, mind, so you guys, keep in mind, mm -hmm. this saves you an incredible step of having to do two things at once and go to another program and link and leave this. You can do it while your mind is right on it. And you've saved yourself maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, but you've also saved your stream of conscious. You've already, you're streaming your thought process to where it stays focused. And I cannot tell you how many dollars that's worth in terms of your mental capacity to be able to create sales. 100%, 100%. It's like you say five minutes here, 10 minutes here, 20 minutes here, whatever the case is. And then all of a sudden at the end of the week, you've saved yourself hours. At the end of the month, you've saved yourself almost an entire workday maybe of just things that are just really easy and just one or two clicks away instead of having to go to two or three different systems in order to do all these things, right? You don't have to go to Zoom and then Google Calendar and then go back to your email. You don't have to do all that. You can do it all from right inside of Pipedrive, which is really cool. All right. I can even leave myself a note with this as well. I can say, you know, hey, be sure to you know, focus on, you know, X, Y, Z or whatever. And I can leave myself that note. So I remember to do that when Monday comes around, right? Everything like that. So that's that's now in there for me. PipeDrive is going to remind me at the wazoo. It's going to be great. All right. PipeDrive is going to send you an email at five o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at five o'clock in the morning to, to kind of get you up, get you going, get you out of bed. Um, I do see a question here. Um, thanks, Jen, for putting this in the chat. Where do you differentiate between accounts versus perspe uh, perspective accounts? Um, yeah, that's a great, great question. Um, so to be honest with you, so the majority of like your perspective accounts will be on your pipeline, right? These are people that you're trying to sell to, okay? These are people that you're trying to do deals with. All of your actual accounts will live in your contacts page right here in your organizations, right? So either you have company accounts, which is organizations, and each one gets their own account page, which you can see is very similar to what we're looking at in deals, a very, very similar layout to like a company account page or a person's contact page or like a person's account page. If I'm working with Luke Skywalker, he's a client of mine, right? I can flip his contact or his label, I'm sorry, over from a cold lead, you know, to maybe he's uh, one of our, he's now a new client, right? So I've just switched him over to a new client, right? And this is just Luke's page going forward. So everything that I ever do with Luke is going to be on this page, right? So all of your contacts and accounts are going to live inside of your contacts page. And then anytime that you're trying to do a deal with somebody, that's going to be differentiated because it's going to be on your pipeline here, which we talked about earlier. All right. So that's a great question. I saw a second question in there as well. Does Pipedrive sync with Calendly? The answer is absolutely. Yeah, we do actually have an integration with Calendly in our marketplace, which is really cool. So I'll pull up our marketplace really quickly just to show you. But we also have something built in. And one of the uh, ideas of this webinar that we're doing today is about saving you money, right? So I'm going to talk to you about something Calendly related that I think is going to excite you, hopefully. Um, but right here is just a, a little intro into our uh, into our marketplace. We have 400 plus apps in our marketplace that you can install and download and all of that kind of stuff, which is great. So you can kind of see me quickly scrolling through these. Um, everything from Zoom to Teams to Zapier to WhatsApp. Um, and then absolutely, we do have a Calendly integration as well. Calendly events for Pipedrive. So that's an and error. DocuSign and DocuSign. Yep, absolutely. Which kind of in the same vein, we're going to talk about that in a second as well. But yeah, we actually have two different ways you can connect to DocuSign also, which is very You're in luck, Mr. Jones. I can send you a DocuSign right now and you can be a customer in a matter of seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it's great. Like the, the, the more things you can get under one roof and again, say, OK, I don't need to leave Pipedrive in order to do something via DocuSign. I can just integrate it in and I can do it all from in here that's so critical. That's so important to not feel like you have to jump around, which is great. Right. Um, but let's talk a little bit about 
Calumly, right? Because you you specifically asked about Calumly. Pipedrive also has its own tool built in, um, which is called the Pipedrive Scheduler, which is every bit the same as Calumly for the most part, right? You can set up your own, what we call availabilities, where I can create a new availability and I can say, hey, Monday through Friday, I want to be available, you know, from nine to five, to just make it really easy. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, right? I can set up buffer times just like Calumly. I can come here and I can tie this link to Zoom, to Teams, to Google Meet, whatever the case is, right? Share his link. And this live updates with your calendar, which is really cool. All right. So you're paying money for Calendly right now. And Calendly is great, right? Calendly is, Calendly is phenomenal. Um, but if you wanted to be able to save some money and all of that, you'd be able to just use our meeting link instead and be able to just use Pipedrive in order to do that. Okay. Which is really cool. So this is completely customizable uh, to be able to do whatever it is that you want to do. All right. So we've got that built in. Let me see here. Um, and I, I want to make sure that you guys understand that uh, Spencer's moving quickly and talking to you about some of these, the, the benefits. And you're going, wow, there's an awful lot in there. Just start using it and it will become intuitive. Like, hey, I have to send a meeting link to somebody and then you'll find it. And once you do it a couple of times, you own it. This is a matter of learn by doing, not learn by reading. It's intuitive. You can figure it the hell out in two seconds. Go. 100%. I, I remember the day that I got hired at Pipedrive and I sat down for my first training and I they started to go through the product with me. And I had this feeling like, you know, about 10 minutes in and I was just like, oh, man, this seems incredible. But it also just seems like, man, it's how long is it going to take to learn this? Because this is like a this the system has a lot of functionality and stuff, which is great. I promise you, I was an expert in the tool by the next business day. By the end of the next business day, I was like, oh my gosh, I know everything that there is to know just about Empire Drive because it's that intuitive. I just spent about an afternoon, an afternoon plus poking around in the system. And all of a sudden I just felt like this just makes sense. It just kind of clicks, which is really, really nice. All right. But everything from like a simple, easy standpoint uh, is just right here. It's just a click or two away. And we talked about scheduling activities and tasks and all that, which is great. We can also fully sync with your email. So again, we're trying to get as much for you under one roof as possible. So you don't need to jump around anymore from your CRM or from something else over to your Gmail or your Outlook or your Yahoo in order to send out an email. You don't need to do that. We fully sync with all of the major email uh, servers. So Gmail, Outlook, Office, Yahoo, we sync with those. So you sync that up with Pipedrive. It takes about 10 seconds. It's very easy. And then all of a sudden you can then send and receive emails from directly inside of Pipedrive, which is really, really cool. Right here, you can see I click on the email button. It automatically populated Anakin Skywalker's email. So I can just say, hey, thanks for your time, right? We have a lot of templates, like you can put in your own templates in here where you can just select the template that you want to uh, that you want to be able to share and all of a sudden it'll just auto-populate everything in there for you. Or you can just type out your own email, you know, thanks again, and again, so great, X, Y, Z, you know, whatever the case is. And then I can go ahead and I can hit send, right? And then that's gonna send out that email. That email comes from your Gmail, from your office, from your Outlook. It looks no different to your customers. You're just doing it through Pipedrive, right? This is like when you sync up your email with your phone and you send it from your phone. It's still coming from your email account, right? You're just doing it through your phone. It's the same thing with Pipedrive. It's still coming from your email account. You're just doing it from inside of Pipedrive and you don't need to jump around anymore, which is really, really cool, right? Um, and this is also where you can drop in your meeting link that we just talked about and everything. So all of that is available for you in here, which is really nice. Now, what's even better is that everything live syncs without you having to do anything. So it's again, it's taking all the manual aspect out of it. So I just sent that email, right? If I scroll down into the history, boom, right there, there it is. That There's that email. It just automatically logged itself inside of the deal. And guess what? Anakin's not a real person, so it wasn't a real email, but that bounce back email came and logged itself automatically as well. If Anakin replied to my email, that's going to land in here automatically. You don't have to do anything. You just click onto the deal with Anakin and every email that you've ever shared with him is just going to be in here regarding this deal. So you don't need to jump around. You don't need to go and look and search for the last time that you and Anakin emailed back and forth. It's just right there for you. You just click on his deal and boom, right there's your entire email history regarding this particular deal with Anakin for you to be able to access. All right. And that happens automatically. Even if you're a creature of habit and you're like, Spence, pipe drive's incredible and I love it, but I'm on the go a lot. And I just email from my phone and everything. That's fine. If you're emailing from Gmail or your phone, the email does not have to originate from Pipedrive. Anytime that you send or receive an email from a client, it's going to log in here automatically for you. So it's really, really cool. There's no effort needed. You send that email from your phone because you're at the airport. The next time you click into this deal, that email is going to be in here for you automatically. Okay, which is really nice. Everybody's so email heavy. So it's so important to have a clean, simple, intuitive way for you to be able to sync up your email with Pipedrive. 
okay? And to be able to just do it, it right here. It's here. very important to understand that no jumping around equates to saving of time and stream of conscious. You don't have to think to use it. Many of these are automatically put in when you program it. And I can't tell you the ease of use factor that comes with pipe drive. It's scary. Yeah, it really is. Because like never before has there been a CRM that's just been this easy and this intuitive and that you don't need to spend weeks or months trying to learn how to use the system and everything. And it's not like pulling, to, this is so easy. Again, you know, within a day or so, you're going to feel like, oh my gosh, I think I figured this whole thing out because it's that easy. So it's really, really nice. So, so all let's your- create another metaphor. It's not like pulling teeth. It's like growing teeth. Yeah, even better. Yeah, that's why they pay you the big bucks. I like that. Um, yeah, hundred percent. That's exactly what this is. And and again, everything you end under- up taking a bite out of the customer's wallet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get a slightly bigger. And honestly, like when you when you look at when you look at any and and, and Jeffrey's written about this before, and so, you know people have talked about it before. Studies show that the more organized you are, and the more kind of put together, and the more things that you can have under one place, and uh, you know under a system like this the more successful you're going to be. It's just a fact. It's like the, you know, the more organized you are, the more on top of your follow-ups you're going to be. And the more on top of your follow-ups you're going to be, then all of a sudden the more deals you close and you're able to close those deals at a higher price because you're not having to feel, you know, like, Oh, I'm all over the place. So I feel like I need to give out these discounts in order to close that customer. It's like, no, Spencer's been on top of it since from day one, he's been super attentive to our needs. He's followed up every single time he said he would like, we want to go with him because his service was just unbelievable. Right. So you don't feel the need to throw discounts out like crazy in order to close deals. You don't feel the need to go and chase all these leads and feel disorganized. It's just all here for you. It's all all on your pipeline. And you can kind of see where everything is at. And it's really, really nice. All right. Um, in here as well, you can also attach files. Again, if you're real estate, if you're anything else and you need to you need to kind of collect paperwork or files, pay stubs, anything, you can just upload them directly to the opportunity right here, directly to the deal. And all those uh, files and stuff are going to be just directly in here for you. Right, so I'll just attach a file really quickly. I'll attach just, um, how about this one? Perfect, there it is, boom, it's attached. All right, so it's as simple as that. I can go to my files and there's that file right there for me. All right, so it's really easy to just be able to very quickly attach files in here, all right? Now this next bit, I won't go too deep into detail on. I'm happy to send anybody any information or anything that they want. But again, part of the point of this webinar was about how you can save money. You can save time and you can save money with Pipedrive. Pipedrive is already so cost effective, but we have this tool in here called Smart Docs. You asked me, what are Smart Docs? Smart Docs is essentially like DocuSign, right? It's an e-signature platform to manage all of your contracts, proposals, quotes, anything like that. We have the ability to autofill all the information collect e-signatures. So basically, essentially exactly what you would use DocuSign for right now, you can choose to use our smart docs instead because it's folded into your plan, right? So this comes with the pipe drive software and all of a sudden you'd be able to just save money by not having to pay for DocuSign or something anymore, right? DocuSign is incredible and we already talked about the integration that we have with them. So if you love DocuSign, keep going, that's amazing. And you can still use that from inside of PipeDrive. But if one of the focuses is, hey, we need to really consolidate and try to save money and get as much under one roof as we can, using our smart docs, which comes with your plan, instead of having to pay for DocuSign can be a really effective way to do that, All right? So again, happy to send any more information to anybody on this. I won't go too deep into this just because there's other topics that we want to get to, uh, but smart docs is essentially built in DocuSign, all included, all for free within Pipedrive, all right? And then same thing goes with invoicing. You can uh, connect an invoicing application. QuickBooks is the most popular one to be able to send and manage all of your invoices from directly inside of here as well. So again, we're trying to get as much under one roof as possible for you and your team so that you don't have to jump around. So you just have everything right there. All of it is just right there, a click or two away, not having to pull from a bunch of different sources. And let me check. If you're using any kind of CRM and you go, boy, I wish they had this, you can probably bet that Pipedrive has it because salespeople have created this. The most important thing, this is not a bunch of engineers sitting in a room trying to figure out how complicated it can be. These are people that just want to do stuff and get shit done and make money. That's that's what pipe drive is. It earns money. 100%. It's it's been so organically grown over we we actually celebrated our 13th birthday yesterday, Jeffrey. I, I don't know if you knew that. Yesterday was pipe drive's 13th birthday, which was very exciting. 
um, it, it's grown so organically over 13 years where it just started off as this really clean and simple, easy to use pipeline. Cause that's, you know, and again, it was made by salespeople. And so then over the course of these years, they just said, what else do salespeople need and actually need, not just a cool thing that we can put onto an advertisement that nobody really knows how to use or whatever. What do salespeople actually need on a daily basis? And that's what's in here. No more, no less. It's as simple and clean as it can be, right? Uh, I do see some questions in the chat as well. Can PipeDrive be installed on our cell phone? Absolutely. Yeah, we have a full um, PipeDrive mobile app and I'll uh, I'll pull it up right here. PipeDrive mobile CRM uh, for you to be able to to install uh, Apple, Android. It's just a miniature version of what we're talking about right now. I use the mobile app all the time. I use it almost every day. It's a great, great tool. It's got all sorts of cool functions in there like talk to text notes and audio notes and mapping capabilities, um, all sorts of really, really cool things. So the mobile app is absolutely available for you in there. All right. Um, can you sync multiple people's emails from the same company and see all communication? Absolutely. Uh, Anthony, the answer to that is yes. If you have other people on your PipeDrive account, they can also sync their emails and you can choose to make emails with clients public, meaning you guys can see each other's emails specifically with clients if you want. And you can make that as, as open or as closed as you want it to be. So that's completely up to you. But the answer is absolutely. Vitor is technically the owner of this deal. If I want to make sure that he sees the emails that I'm sharing with Anakin, I can absolutely do that. Right. I can just go into my email inbox right over here because, again, it creates a, a mirror of your inbox and I can mark this particular email as shared or I can make it private. I can say, you know what, that's actually a private thing. Like Anakin probably doesn't want that like out and about. I'm going to make that private. Right. So you can choose to do that as well. So that is completely within your power to be able to manage all of that. All right. I think that is it. I'm in financial services and security and confidentiality are critical. Is this a CRM? F-I-N-R-A compliant. I don't know the answer to that, John. That's a great question. Um, so I don't want to give you an answer that I don't know. I can say the word GDPR compliant. Um, we are SOC 2 and SOC 3. We have SOC 2 and SOC 3 certification. Um, we're part of the EU US Privacy Shield. Uh, so we do have a, a plenty of, and obviously that's very important, uh, confidentiality and security. We're very, very secure. I just don't know specifically about F-I-N-R-A. So I'll do a little bit of digging for you. Um, absolutely. And if you sign up for a free trial as well, well, that would put you in touch with one of our sales reps who can also help you out with questions like that. All right. So that's kind of a quick run through of just the detail view of the deal here. Of every, So everything having to do with this deal that I'm trying to make with Anakin Skywalker is in here, right? Just to recap, all of my notes, any follow-ups that I want to schedule, right? If I want to send or receive emails or attach files, send out an e-signature, all of that is just available right here. And all the information that I need to know is over here on the left-hand side, right? Is Jeffrey still awesome? Yes. Okay, he is still awesome. We're just making sure all that information is over here on the left-hand side for me to be able to access. And everything else that I'm doing is available just on this timeline style view. Remember what we talked about? We talked about that Facebook style kind of timeline. That's what this is right down here. Everything that I need all in one place. So if my boss ever does come and ask me, hey, what's the latest with Anakin? I could just say, you know what? It's all right here. Everything you need to know about the Anakin deals right here. Or for me, if I wake up in the middle of the night because I I'm, I'm I get stressed sometimes and I'm like, oh, you know, this and that. Did I follow up with Anakin right? Did I not? Like whatever. It's so easy for me because I can just, I can wake up in the middle of the night. I can open up my pipe drive app, go into the deal and say, oh, okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. Anakin hasn't responded to my email. It doesn't look like he signed that e-signature. I'm following up with him on Monday. It's just all in one place for me, which is so nice. So I can go back to sleep and sleep sound. So it's really, really nice. All right. Jeffrey, anything else that I'm missing from inside of this detail view here? Um, no. Uh, what I'm looking at is the incredible understanding of your sales process and the way your sales moves from one step to another that you can not just see in the way you've programmed step one, step two, step three, but you can see it in your timeline, your your pipe drive timeline, and mm -hmm. you can see how your sales process is moving forward or not moving forward. And as a salesperson, this is what you need to see. This is the gold that tells you, hey, I didn't do this step. Hey, I need to go back and review this step. The customer's not buying this step I need to go for it more succinctly. I need to be more direct with my customer. I have to stop crapping around and get to the point. And this is what this timeline does for you. You all have a sales cycle and you all know what the sales cycle is, but salespeople want to take shortcuts and it doesn't work. 
shortcuts do not work. I my my philosophy has always been take the long cut and and put yourself in the position where the customer can figure it out and say yes to you. Um, I, I'm looking at a, a question, a Spencer, from a buddy of mine, uh, Billy Holiday. Can you load your credit app and send to the prospective customer from Pipedrive and then have a scorecard for how each one sets up monthly? That's a great question. So, um, okay, so that's kind of a unique case. So there's a couple of ways probably that you could do that, right? So if the credit app is like an actual, like formal, like sheet application, you would probably want to set that up through Smart Docs, right? So you would set that up through Smart Docs and then be able to send that out. You can track that document. So you can see, you know, if it's been sent out, if it's been opened by the client, of course, if it's been completed and all that. So that should be able to be managed by our Smart Docs without issue. But again, we'd want to pair you with a sales rep just to make sure that uh, that all of that works out properly. Now, a scorecard, yes, you. that's tricky. You probably could. So we have this really cool feature in our insights, and this is maybe a good segue into insights where you can uh, run pretty much all of your metrics, any metrics that you care about, everything like that, you can do that, right? Which is really, really cool. So you can maybe set up a graph or a chart in here for like that certain activity type of like that being sent out where you can see how many each rep has done per month, right? So it's almost like a, it's almost like a leaderboard maybe. So again, we'd, we'd probably want to test this out just to make sure. Um, but I think that that should probably work out fine depending on exactly what that, uh, what that credit app looks like and the information that you need on it and that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And here as well, you can also set up goals. So you can say, Hey, you know, for, you know, I'll just say, how about completed, you know, for my team, you know, it's their job to, instead of intro call, maybe you would put credit app. It's your job to do uh, you know, how about 15 credit to send out 15 credit apps, uh, credit apps a month or something like that. Right. And I don't just want to assign it to Spencer. I want to assign it to the whole team. Right team uh, team nashville right so it's team nashville's job to send out at least 15 credit apps a month or a week or whatever right so kind of jumping around a little bit but i think that there would be a way to get where you want to get to in pipe drive just using the stuff that's already in here and again can probably have that set up in an afternoon it's really really easy which is nice also another good thing about pipe drive just in general is that for the most part there's almost always more than one way to skin the cat right so we want to give you options because everybody works a little bit better in different ways. So we don't just want to pigeonhole you into, Hey, well, if you want to use pipe drive, you have to do it in this one particular way. It's like, no, there might be three or four ways to get to the end goal that you want. It just depends on, you know, which one is best for you and how, you know, how best you think that you work, which is really nice. The flexibility and ease of pipe drive and setting it up and kind of bending it and shaping it to exactly what you want it to be. And having that done in just a day or two is really, really nice. All right. So that, that's a great question. Uh, real quick, I do want to talk about just kind of managing your day, right? Because you're like, hey, well, hey, how do I how do I manage my day? You've, I've got all these different deals in the pipeline. Um, I, you know, I've got this meeting set up with Anakin, you know, on Monday. Like, where do I go to manage my day and know what I need to do? How can I go to bed at night knowing I got everything done that I need to today, right? So that's right over here on the left-hand side. You'll see this activities tab. I probably spend, I don't know at least 50% of my day in my activities tab. Okay. I'm just going to go to me. Now you won't really see anything in here because I don't use this demo account a ton, but this is your activity list. Okay. So this is going to show you everything that you need to do on any given day. Now, if I go ahead and bump this out to Monday, you'll see, boom, I've got that call with Anakin on my to-do list. What's really cool as well is this operates off a tab system. So maybe it was a long weekend. You know, I, I did a bunch of stuff, hung out with some people, right? Did a bunch of stuff around the house. Monday comes around. It's like, oh man, I can't remember what I talked about on Thursday. That was a long time ago. So this operates off of a tab system where, okay, I've got this call with Anakin coming up. All I need to do is just click on Anakin's name or click on the title of the deal and a little tab pops out and actually shows me the detail view. So again, we've been talking about it. You don't have to jump around to a bunch of different places just to get all the info that you want. Everything for the most part is always just going to be a click or two away. I've got this call with Anakin. You don't have to remember. Your mind is clear to create ideas. 100%. You don't have to remember the detail. The detail is there. And it's there for you to think beyond the detail into the heart of the sale. 100%. He talked about earlier, he mentioned kind of the emotion behind it and like taking those notes about like the emotion, what really speaks to the client, right? So you get that on Thursday, but you might lose that by Monday. You might kind of disconnect yeah. that. But you're not going to if you have it in Pipedrive because it's going to be right there. 
right? And I can say, oh, I remember how much you talked about how much you really want to you know, live by the ocean. And you've got those two kids, you want good schools, right? It's all there for you, just a click away. And then I, I can feel confident that, okay, I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to do this call with Anakin. Oh, and there's that note, by the way, to be sure to focus on X, Y, Z. So this is kind of my running to-do list, okay? Now, let's just say that I have a list of about 10 things to do today, and it's been a hectic day, busy. I'm driving around town, whatever. I'm only able to get through eight of them. So I've got two things left over at the end of the day that I haven't been able to get to. Those would automatically be bumped into my overdue tab, okay? So you can see here that I've got two items that are actually overdue. This kind of holds you a little bit accountable. I'm somebody that I'm like, I'm going, I'm moving, I'm, I'm doing all these things. I'm trying to squeeze in phone calls. I'm trying to work really hard. Right. So I'm just somebody, this is just me. I tend to, Hey, if something falls to the cracks, you know, I, that is not inconceivable to happen with me just because I'm just, I'm going quick. Pipe drive holds me accountable, right? Before I log off every day, I go to my overdue tab and I make sure that this thing is clean. Okay. Oh yeah. I forgot that I haven't, I haven't called Han Solo and Luke Sky. I need to call them as well. You can, you can see the star Wars connection here, right? I always use star Wars. Um, I, I forgot I need to do that. I'm going to call those two really quickly. And I'm going to get them out of my overdue tab. I, you know, I talked to Luke. Wait, it's been a minute since I talked to Luke. So again, click on the title of the deal. Okay, there's everything that I need, right? There's my note, right? There's that last email that I sent him. Here's all the information on Luke over here. So I'm going to call him really quickly. I knock that out. Boom, market is complete. And then you just saw what just happened, right? Pipe Drive is actually prompting me to schedule the next follow-up. It's saying, hey, hang on. Don't forget about Luke. Don't forget to schedule another follow-up. So I'll, I'll say, hey, yeah, thanks, Pipe Drive. And Check you, you, can, you can also have a field, Spencer for competition. So make sure you have like, a, we're going to call it Darth Vader. And mm -hmm. you're going to like, these are the weaknesses of Darth Vader and how I want to make sure I respond to them without downing Darth Vader. I want to know what my competitive advantages are. And I want to know where, where my value is to this customer. But I also got to keep in mind that I'm not the only person working on this deal. I definitely have to be conscious and aware of my competitor. 100%. Could not have said it better myself. Absolutely. And it's it's all just there for you, right? And it's prompting me to do this. And I'll set this up for uh, how about Wednesday? I need to check back in with Luke. And again, leave myself a note. Be sure to mention, you know, the Death Star, you know, whatever. Hit save. <laughs> exactly. Boom. And now again, when I go to my to-do list on Wednesday, that's going to be there. Check back in with Luke. So I'm just managing my day. And I'm just always making sure that my overdue tab is just clean. And then, I, I, you know, I just know that, hey, if I clean out my overdue tab and if I try to do everything that I need to do today, I'm going to be in good shape. I can sleep sound. I'm not going to wake up in the middle of the night stressed because I, oh, did I forget to do this? Did I call that one person? It's all in here for me, which is really nice. And also in here, I mentioned earlier, right? We have a two-way sync with your calendars, Outlook, Office, Google, all the main calendars. Right here is the calendar sync, right? So I can actually view my Google calendar, my Outlook calendar, my Office calendar, whatever you use. I can view it from inside of Fivetrive. This just creates a mirror of it. All right. So here it is. Boom. There's that call with Anakin on my calendar for Monday the 26th. This is, again, very similar to if you sync up your calendar with your phone, right? You sync up your Google calendar with your phone. You're on your phone, but you're looking at your Google calendar, right? Same thing, right? You're in pipe drive, but you're actually looking at your Google calendar because all of your, your tasks and, and meetings and appointments and stuff are going to be on here. And right there is that call with Anakin that I have to do on Monday at one o'clock. Guys, right. if you don't understand, um, this is money. And this is a guy who you don't know. His name is Spencer Smith. He comes on. He helps us with ours, but he's helping hundreds of thousands of pipe drive subscribers and giving them how to turn your CRM into gold, not money, gold, because the tools are there. It's a matter for you, the salesperson or the sales leader, to figure out how to best take advantage of them. This is critical for you. And as we're in the middle of this, I just want you to know, Spencer, how appreciative we are that you're sharing this with our people. Absolutely. And, and I think you can tell by Jeffrey, you know, and the way he's talking about it, and hopefully you can tell by the way I'm talking about it as well. We're both truly, truly passionate about this as a product because it truly does help. I'm very fortunate that I get to wake up every day and sell a product that I know truly helps people. And the amount of like success stories I've sold to people for the last three years, pipe driving, and they come back to me and they say, this is incredible. Thank you so much. We're so glad. Like this has turned our business around. We're du we've doubled our revenue. We've done all these amazing things. And hearing those stories is like, man, I get yep. to wake up and I get to sell this thing that really truly helps people. And Jeffrey does this with a lot of products, and luckily Pipe Drive is one of them as well, which is which is truly truly great. So we're both very passionate about it. 
Yeah, hundred percent. And there's two things too that pipe drive just really gives you that I want you to focus. On. It's you know it's money and it's 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 gold like you talked about. It can save you money and generate you more money, but it also saves you time and it generates you more time, right? And time is so valuable during your day. You can blink and the day's gone and you're like, oh man, I wasn't able to get through half the things that I wanted to because I just spent so much time bumping around from this and that and going through email folders and oh, where's that thing? And did this person sign that document yet? And I'm just all over the place. And it's just, that's so frustrating on a daily basis to have to deal with. And it's so much time invested in just feeling scattered and feeling like you're just kind of all over the place where pipe drive gives you that sense of security and feeling of like, okay, I've got everything right here. I don't need to bounce around anymore. It's just all under one roof for me. And I can save so much time and so much effort and I can make more money. Right. And I can turn this into more money and I can save money because this is so much cheaper than a Salesforce or a HubSpot or anything like that, which is phenomenal. Um, so it's just, it's really, really, it's great on both fronts, which is awesome. And you can manage your day. And then we kind of talked about it just a minute ago, but you can run really whatever reports that you want, right? We've got this really cool interactive dashboard. You, you make this however you like, right? So this is really cool. I made this dashboard in about 10 minutes. Okay. So it's really easy. I've got a little test dashboard down here so I can create another report. I can just say, Hey, yeah, I want to create a new report. I want it to be um, maybe a deal report, a deal performance report. All right. And then I can come in here and I can just start to customize it, right? So right here, you got your X and Y axes and you can just say, hey, I just want to segment by like maybe organization. I just want to see which company we're getting the most deals from, right? Wow. And it's going to break it all down for me. And, and you can see kind of the color breakdown right here, over here on the right. All the raw data is going to be up over here on the left, right? So I can segment by company. Maybe you sell a bunch of products and you want to segment by like product type right? Product type A or product type B or whatever. You have so many different ways that you can kind of toy around with these reports. Is Jeffrey awesome? You're right. Okay. One, one deal said that Jeffrey's awesome. That's great. All right. So you can see that custom field, even that we made that custom field that I just made out of scratch. And it took me 10 seconds is now all of a sudden able to be used in my reporting dashboards. That type of functionality Still. take weeks in some other CRMs in order to get that field to connect to this. All right. Salespeople and sales managers, listen up. When you can see who's buying your product, it tells you two things. It's number one, who else within that field? And number two, what fields are not being exploited that you could get into and really take a market share? So there's not just who is this and oh, wow, that's interesting. This is a money chart. Literally, this chart will lead you to gold. And all you have to do is put it into your pipe drive. It's not difficult at all. 100%, 100%. And like right now, this is being measured by number of deals. So just overall number of deals that are working. But maybe instead of that, I, you know, I want deal value. So who's bringing us in the most money, right? The most money, right? So 1.78 million in February, right? 5.15 million in February. And it's breaking it out for me. I can hover over and it's showing me who spent the most money. Okay, the Tampa Bay Bucks spent 100,000, right? Um, Gillette. We need another football team, correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, it's it's giving me all that data at a really quick. And then again, you know, I can filter and I can say, well, hey, this is awesome. This is great. But how about um, just, you know, I, I just want to look at, I'm about to do Vitor's um, annual review. So I just want to look at Vitor. So just show me all of Vitor's clients. Like who is he selling to right now, right? Okay, apparently mm -hmm. he's a big Star Wars guy too because look at all the Star Wars stuff, right? It's it's just a click or two away and you've just got this data integrity and you can say, Hey, I can just poke around in here and I'm going to get a really good snapshot of the things that I want. And then I can hit save, right? Save it to my dashboard. And then all of a sudden, when I go to my dashboard, that report is there. It's right there. And I can drag it around. Yeah. I can move it to whatever I want. I can do anything that I want. And you can build out your dashboard. Now, again, I built this dashboard in about 10 minutes, right? The majority of these at least. And I can just click into any of them, take a look at what's going on all of that kind of stuff. So reporting is really, really easy and really simple and not too much, right? Just enough reporting that you actually need and will use, not all these cool bells and whistles that nobody ever really uses because they can't even figure out what they do, right? It's just really simple, um, efficient. Salespeople and sales managers and even business owners, before you take that first sip of beer and watch that Netflix movie, why don't you make it a goal to create one of these reports a week, just one a week. At the end of a year, you'll have 50, 52 reports or 50 if you take a two week vacation and you'll be able to see the opportunities in your business that you're probably overlooking right now 
because you don't know the data. Mm -hmm. And people are telling you data is important, but they don't tell you why and they don't tell you how. And Pipedrive does both. 100%. Absolutely. And I do see a couple of questions in the chat here that I want to get to really quickly. If we're doing cold calls sure. from a list, are there any restrictions to us uploading that list to Pipedrive? Absolutely not. Now we've got that import uh, data and I kind of very, very briefly mentioned it earlier, but you take that list if it's on an Excel or CSV file, you can just import it right into Pipedrive. If you tell me also just from a data import um, thing, by the way, if you tell me, hey, well, we're using another CRM right now and uh, we we love Pipedrive. You know, Jeffrey, you sold us on it. We want to switch to Pipedrive. How do we do that? You can also import your data from another software. Act, right? Which I think you had mentioned that you use earlier, right? High rise HubSpot, Salesforce, all of these cool, uh, you know, all, all of these different CRMs are able to just very quickly be imported. So it's very, very simple to move all of your data over into Pipedrive. All right. Let's Crazy. see. Crazy. Other one. Uh, also, your competitor might already be using Pipedrive. That's a great point, John. Uh, comment of the day, maybe your competitor, your competitor might be using Pipedrive, right? You might be, you know, fumbling around with spreadsheets or doing this or that or having a system that you don't really use and all that. The people that you're selling against, your your main competitor who's also trying to sell to that same client, might be using Pipedrive, and they might have all these cool tools and and things in this organization system and these reports that they're running. And they might be really well put together. And that salesperson's never missing their follow-ups. They're sending everything out. All the emails are being responded to. And that's what you're going up against, right? So all the more reason to just go ahead and commit and get to, you know, get pipe drive just because you can say, hey, I'm, I'm if, if you can't beat them, join them, right? You might as well. Uh, levels the playing field. It levels the playing field. 100%. Yeah. Um, uh, Lisa, uh, no, I'm sorry, Jeff, go ahead. Yeah, no, Lisa has this question about does it, does it put your personal emails in there? So, so yes and no, that's up to you, right? When you very first set up your email sync, you can choose to just sync certain folders with Pipedrive. Um, you can choose to only sync emails. And we have this new functionality coming where you can just sync with like Pipedrive contacts, which is really nice. Um, but honestly, and you can see here, like I can select like, you know, different folders or whatever if I want to. But honestly, even if you just sent out a personal email, I sent an email out to my nephew or whoever, right? Nobody would ever be able to see that in Pipedrive. Like nobody can ever click into your inbox, right? It, that would maybe live in your inbox, similar to the inbox on your phone, but it's not syncing up with any deals, not syncing up with any contact pages because that's just to your nephew, right? So there would be no mechanism for anybody to ever see that email anyways. But you do have control over maybe what folders you want to sync up and everything like that. And again, emails can always be marked as shared or private as well. So you pretty much have total control over what comes in and whether or not you want other people to see it. So that's that's obviously very important. Um, okay, I think we're clean on the questions right now. So Jeff, maybe I'll throw it back to you. I know we're kind of coming up on time, right? Yeah, you're going to go to gitimer.com slash CRM to get our pipe drive deal, which pipe drive has been so generous to let us have uh, extended use time and discount on the purchase. Um, but Spencer, I just I need to tell you, and this is being recorded, so you can send it to anybody on the planet. Okay. You're gifted in your understanding of how to turn CRM into money. And while you speak quickly, it's because you have so much knowledge that you're trying to share it with people. And you know how sometimes you listen to a, uh, to a webinar, you listen to something, you, you put it on advanced speed, you want to go 125 or 150. I would go to 75% when you're listening to Spencer. And that way you can get and take notes on everything that he's telling you to do, because there isn't one thing that he told you to do today that does not lead to more sales for you in your effort. And if you enjoy capitalism the same way I do, and you enjoy making the process of business work in your favor, then you can literally take a bite out of the other guy's wallet from the new teeth that you grow using pipe drive. Hundred percent. I, I yeah, I, I appreciate that, and it's so true. I, I I do tend to talk really fast when I'm talking about pipe drive because I just I love the product, and there's so much, and I know in the back of my mind, like I've got this great group of people that have, that are attending today, and I've only got an hour with them, and I. I have so much love for this product that I just, I want you guys to see as much of it as possible. And this is why I encourage you absolutely go to the link that he talked about on the website, sign up using his promo code. Cause there's, there's awesome perks that go with that, but you'll still also get assigned a pipe drive sales rep, right. Who will come in 
and be able to help you, can give you a live personalized demo, just you and them, can answer all of your questions, right? Can hop on the phone and, and you know, talk through some things, can talk to you about pricing, all these things. So you can get a really personalized experience uh, with this tool that hopefully you now love, uh, all just by going to that link and signing up using their promo code. And also, Jen just added in, when you you if you go to help me, when you sign up, you go to help me at gitter.com, send an email, and you're going to get an ex exclusive get started session with Jen Gittimer. And it's phenomenal. It's not good. It's phenomenal because she's a user, an active daily user of pipe drive. And I think that's really what you need in terms of, of uh, um, making sure you, you got it. There will be a replay um, of this event to make sure that those of you who could not make it on time or had other things to do. I want to make sure you're going to get this webinar again. And Spencer, I can say thank you, but it's not enough. So there you go. I just really appreciate you guys having me. This is my second time getting to do this with Jeffrey, and it's been it's been incredible both times. So I really hope and and absolutely sign up for that free session with Jen after you sign up because she's a superstar. Spencer and I are going to go on a world tour. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna go to all the outback places, including the um the home of pipe drive in uh in brazil um i've already been to their home in berlin and i can tell you that it is one incredible well-oiled sales machine yeah absolutely yeah we've got offices all over the world which is great um jeff maybe we can get you down to our florida office at some point as well that's where i work out of i'm down in tampa florida jeff's up in charlotte so we'd love to get you down here as well I'll have to get you over to the East Coast side where the real people live, but that's a whole other story. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, on, I'm on the West Coast of Florida, which I, I prefer. Right. But, if uh, you want chicken noodle soup, you're going to have to go to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll work that out. But hey, I'll, I'll, go to, I'll go to Germany, I'll go to Estonia, I'll go anywhere with you. That sounds cool. good. We'll I think I literally, I think because we're user and purveyor, that it, it makes a great combination of information like i'm not just i'm not selling this for spencer i'm a user who's made hundreds of thousands of dollars as a result of taking advantage of the services and the and and the software the pipe drive has it's been an incredible ride for us and i want everybody to make sure that they take advantage of it um for obvious reasons you're a salesperson you're a sales manager you're a business owner and the key is grow your business and make more sales and pipe drive will help you buy back your time to do it more, period. 100%. Could not have said it better myself. Yeah, absolutely. So Spencer, my people will call your people and we'll set up the first world tour. We'll need the t-shirts with the cities on the back of it and everything. That sounds um, great. <laughs> that sounds great. That would be, that would we'll be follow, so much fun, by the way. We'll follow Taylor Swift. Yeah, we'll follow Taylor Swift. Yeah. We'll just go around the world. That sounds Wherever she goes, I, I have a 14-year-old daughter that would want to go the day before so she could go to the concert and then come to the event. But that's a whole other yeah. story. That sounds fair. Yeah, that sounds fair. That's uh, our events will be nominal or free. Taylor Swift is about five grand for a ticket. Yeah, we'll be a lot more cost effective. That's for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, Spencer, take care of yourself. Stay healthy. Uh, stay away from idiots. Make sure, make sure, <laughs> make sure that you um, continue to do the brilliant work that you're doing. We are ever so grateful for having you here today. Thanks so much to both of you. I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Cheers, you guys. See you soon. Have a good one.